So at that point, you're kind of free to to go ahead and and start tuning the face up, uh, and that includes a lot of things. I'll walk you through step by step: uh, tuning the regions, enveloping all the maps you can paint, um, and you can kind of get lost in all this stuff uh, if you don't kind of have a road map. Uh, and I kind of have developed my own little uh, checklist of things to go through. And uh, I usually just start by just roughing in the wrinkle map really quick. And this is one of those things you come back to over and over and, and, and fine tune and adjust. But typically if you go to maps and wrinkle paint, uh, typically I'll just go in and kind of just rough it in so I'll be able to just start seeing that effect immediately. And that's just a simple, you know, painting operation. Okay, so that's just really roughed in, and a lot of these are going to be way too harsh, especially these around the crow's feet, uh, but this is typically the way I start, so just get the forehead wrinkles roughed in, anything around the corrugators and the crow's feet, and I generally paint out kind of the, the muzzle of the face here and define the smile line a little bit, uh, and one thing to keep in mind about the wrinkle painting is it's not it's it's a it's a generic deadening map so anything you paint with that is not going to get any kind of bulging effect so you can use it as a general mask on a lot of things that you don't want to be affected like the nose interior and the mouth interior uh, interior of eye sockets I haven't painted those in here yet but typically I'll end up basically making a little you know wrinkle eyeliner just to make sure and keep those areas from getting pulled around too much um, a lot of that you'll see as I as I get into that part of the face, but uh, so you can kind of use that just in general as a as a deadening mask. Uh.